Well, hello my friends on YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at a real steel knife. And this is the real steel H6 Elegance in carbon fiber scales or handles. And uh, before that I just want very quickly to tell you that uh, about a little while ago I uploaded a video about this one. Uh, the rat one I thought it was, but Unfortunately, it turned out to be a counterfeit. Uh, I learned a lesson there. But uh, if you're looking for that video, well, I took it down. I don't review counterfeits. But I think I've, since I have the original on the way, uh, I got it at a very cheap price at a, at a, a good dealer, uh, a trusted dealer. So uh, I'll do some sort of comparison video when this turns out uh, with the postman. Uh, back to the Real Steel H6 Elegance. I want to show it to you. It is an extremely nice knife. And I bought it from an extremely nice guy. Knife, knife Collector 031 of the Netherlands, who is Henk. Very known in the European knife community and very... I think very known in the American or the US knife community as well and I got it at a good price and uh, I couldn't say no. Of course this means that uh, there are a few, few things I might, uh, I might not comment on because it's not new out of the box but uh, I'll, I'll deal with that as we go along. If we start at the blade like uh, a lot of the later real seals, a very simple blade uh, shape design, uh, flat grind, uh, a lot of belly on this one, um, but I guess a flat, flat grind and sort of uh, thin behind the edge makes for a good slicer, and indeed it is. This one is really, really sharp. Uh, I think it is hair popping and um, that's one of the things I can't really comment. I don't know if uh, if Hank uh, stopped it or anything, but uh, my experience with with real steel knives is that they are, are rather sharp out of the box. So I guess it is the factory edge. Can't say for sure, but I think so. Thumb studs in this case G10, which is very nice. They are. They are not as, as uh, sharp or rough as some of the metal ones can be, even on expensive knives. But on this one, nicely rounded off, so it doesn't tear your thumb apart. Jimping on top, uh, very, very grippy, but not in any way tearing your thumb either. Look at the back side of the blade, it's not, uh, it's not a billboard. Very discreet H6 elegance. and. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to show it, but uh, here in the corner of the knife, behind the thumb stud, it just says 14C28N, which is, of course, the blade steel, which is a nice, uh, more than nice budget steel. Um, looking at the handle, as I said, in this case, it's uh, carbon fiber, uh, laminate perhaps, but uh, still very, very nice carbon fiber. Not easy with the black background, but I think you can see some of the, uh, uh, the that it is carbon fiber. Very clean handle and very, or sort of a little bit slippery, smooth. Um, a lanyard hole in the back here. If we look at the back of the spine of the handle, we have a backspacer that goes all the way. Uh, it's nearly closed uh, with some jimping, but very unobtrusive jimping. Still, it might. It, I think it gives you a little bit of grip. Backside, not a totally deep carry pocket clip, but rather deep, and uh, it is only right side tip up tip down so sorry lefties and uh, we have the traditional eight Torx 8 uh, pivot screw, Torx 6 uh, standoff screws or backspacer screws 
and two screws for the uh, pocket clip which is uh, very nice by the way it uh, it has room for even the, the heavier pocket seams fit and finish it is extremely nicely rounded off everything is flush where it's supposed to be uh, no sharp corners in the liners or anything lock up 40 percent i think around 40 percent nice shoulder behind the blade to um, to prevent it from going further we just close it centering absolutely perfect but of course you can do something about that if you're just a pivot screw but it is perfect ergonomically this sits very nice in hand and as you can see i have a little bit of surplus down here so it's for even bigger hands i'm about a size 9 hand but uh, i think you can you can uh, hold it even with bigger hands there's some room for for bigger hands no choke up on this one but a nice sharpening choil but it's not a it's not a finger choil let's see the reverse grip very very nice indeed and the pocket clip is no way in the way very nice indeed draw cut yeah that's quite nice as well not a grip that I use often but it's okay in this one on this one and last but not least the action it is very very smooth it is an iPhone washers it's a, a phosphor bronze washers that's what it's called and uh, it is extremely smooth I can flip it out without any wrist action and it's not it's not a drop shot but it's it's just kind of smooth it is has that smoothness that a good washer knife has but uh, it's of course not quite the same action as a knife on bearings but uh, yeah each one has the advantages and this one being a washer knife is very smooth indeed let's have a quick size comparison we have the real steel megalodon which is a very big knife and in this case it's about a centimeter shorter the h6 is about a centimeter shorter than the megalodon and i might show you the uh, sam rhino 7010 which of course is a much smaller knife and uh, as you can see it is quite a lot larger than that although it's um, very big uh, it's not that heavy still uh, i can feel it in my pocket of course it is a big knife but it's a good the everyday carry all the same i like it in, at least uh, and as always i'll put the data in the end of the video all the data and uh, for you to pause and read or read and pause whatever you decide just put that away all in all a very very nice knife i am a sort of a real steel fan fanboy uh, as much as i'm a fanboy of, of anything if they make something bad i'll tell you but uh, this one is very nice and uh, this carbon fiber is of course gives it a little bit extra but uh, Real steel G10 handles are quite nice as well. If you want to, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment, or even subscribe if you want to, if you liked what I did. Coming up next uh, in a few days, I hope, will be a review, as I said in the beginning, of uh, the real or a comparison of the real Rat One versus this counterfeit. Uh, if some of you saw my video on this, you heard that I was quite favorable to it. Uh, so, of course, I hope that the original is even better. But I'll sort of make a, a, a comparison video on those two, talking a little bit about uh, 
counterfeit in general and how I discovered that this one is a counterfeit. Uh, not least did I discover it because of a viewer of mine, uh, David Hill, thanks to him if he's watching. But uh, then I of course had to investigate it, so I'll make a video about that in a little while. And with this, back to the real steel, really, really a nice knife. I, I like it a lot, a lot. I've carried it a lot. And um, with this, have a nice day, evening, whatever it is in your country. Bye bye.